Flashes, you can sit with us. This is episode two, and we are in Hawaii. We chose to come here for our family vacation and forego the traditional Christmas presents this year. For the Pipe Masters, I should put that in there, which Jeff has seen all his favorites this week. Awkwardly seen all my favorites. Wait, tell everyone everyone you've seen and how And you've you seen my favorite person in that movie, The Cash and Mr. Oh yeah, Ross Williams. No, we've met uh, Bob Hurley, Ross Williams, Seabass, I don't know you know, just yelled at him. <laughs> <laughs> we met Josh Kerr, we, we've met him before. Oh yeah, we met Connor when we first got here. I took a picture of Tuna. Yeah, we just seen a bunch of, a bunch of the pros and it's kind of funny because, I don't know, we're just, yeah, we Jeff's a super fan, that's what's I'm funny. Pretty much I'm a super fan. Jeff's a sure. total super fan. Yeah, like, I look, at, I look at these guys like a lot of people out there would look at NFL or NBA players. I'm that type of fan. I've been following surfing since the 90s, and I've been watching the competitions on the internet since they started streaming them, which was like 12 or 13 years ago. They haven't been doing it that long, so... Jessica's yeah. a fan. Mm -hmm. Mark Lines. Yeah, it's like a little Hollywood fan. Yeah, Goldie apparently is also a super fan. She is wearing her Go John John sweatshirt. Sure. The Champ. So gross. What did she get on it? Yeah, that logo is actually all over. Oh, uh. Yeah, all over sure. the North Shore here. Gentlemen, a round of applause for the world champion, John John <laughs> So, this week we had a few questions come in. The first question is a question for the girls, and I'm going to let them answer individually, even though they're already fighting over who's going to answer first, which is so ridiculous, and this one already feels defeated. She thinks everyone steals her ideas. Even though they come out of our mouths and then they go into her mouth. So the first question. <laughs> She's so panicked. Okay. okay, we're gonna let Goldie answer this first. Yeah, let's get Goldie. Okay, the first question is: What <laughs> is your mom's worst <laughs> habit? She's um, because you drink talk. way too much caffeine, and you always have to have it. Red Bull or Diet Coke. Always. You send us in to get your um, caffeine. For you. Probably that she always has Diet Coke or Red Bull with her, and then she also eats way too much popcorn. Not really. I don't know if that's even Not really. a possibility. Really, you you I was going to say the Red Bull thing. Clearly it's a bad habit. You sent us in to get it though, and then the like people at the gas station are always like, you're way too young to be drinking that. Are you sure you really want it? I'm like, not for me. That's sweet Ozzy look, guys. Ozzy doesn't know any of my bad habits yet, so we'll leave it at that. For, mm, oh, I know mom's worst habit. She throws everything away. Mom, like... She just get doesn't like the other things. Things. like she doesn't like she having things. things. So she just, just, she just throws everything, everything away. away. It's like wasteful. It's like wasteful definition. I've told you guys this. My dream gift would be a dumpster delivery service. If I could have a dumpster delivered so to my house once a month that I could fill up with everyone's crap, You're including so my cool. own, it'd be the best gift ever. Sure. I don't like stuff. Ozzy thinks that's funny. Right, Ozzy? We don't like stuff. Okay, so that just is a, a clean freak. Like if you touch anything, it's like don't touch that. And then Goldie gets close. Okay, Goldie, <laughs> what's Jeff's worst habit? Um, Only <laughs> answers are gonna be the exact same because um, you guys you really don't have any bad habits except for Do those. not like it when we touch the door. Talk to the camera though. Oh, he's not his friends. He is mad at my friends when they touch the door, and he um. And he doesn't like it when I ride in the streets. Oh, he gets really That's mad right. because... That's true. I he do gets not really like mad when because, because we, first of all, we don't have laundry baskets. And second of all, we'll open the, like, the laundry to like do it like, out of the washer. That's and it opens on to like, the, um, like, where the garage door is. And he'll get super mad because he opens the door and just like slams it. There's and then he'll right. talk to us about like, how we need a laundry basket. That's not okay, let me happens. explain why they don't have a laundry basket. Everyone has laundry hampers in their room. I personally hate laundry baskets because I hate stuff, right? So as soon as the dryer is done, 
then someone is going to fold the laundry. They're going to fold it in everybody's piles, and everyone's going to take it upstairs. I don't know why we need a laundry basket. Ask Kim. Do you want to explain? I know, but then I feel like all the clothes just get forgotten about, or they get once they're not hot anymore, then you can't get the wrinkles out. <laughs> why do you think we need a laundry well, basket? Well, see, the Looks problem is the Karen. girls. We have a small laundry room, and the girls. <laughs> fold all the laundry directly from the dryer onto the top of the dryer. And I think it is more efficient if we take the laundry out of the dryer, put it in the laundry basket, take it in the other room, and fold it somewhere where there's more space. choose the best pieces from each line that they think will sell 
and then they present those to the stores, whoever, whatever store that they're working with. So that would be my dream job. What about you? Dream job? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think like a dream job, like if, if all things were possible and all athletic ability was, was, was no question, it would definitely be to be a pro surfer and travel the world surfing. Same. If we're saying dream, but I don't have that talent, so if we're going on talents that are already there, um, I mean, I'm kind of doing what exactly what I want to be doing, which is building and creating and uh, using design and uh, woodworking and metalwork. You get to work with your hands, you get to create with your mind, and you, I get to work from a great location and call my own shots. Okay. Avery, what's your dream job? I want to be a lawyer or an uh, interior designer. Why do you think I'm going to be a lawyer? What qualities do you think you have that you would be good at for law? She's tall. She's tall? I'm tall, yeah. <laughs> That's good. Lawyers are pretty tall? Oh. I'm not that tall either. What about you, Poppy? What's your dream job? I'm going to be a makeup artist. A makeup artist. Why do you think you want to be a professional skateboarder? Or if I can't, no, or surfer. If I can't do that, then I definitely want to be. Like Jane, you got Tarzan over there. She is um, a lion, and then now we don't know what she is because we're flying jungle and monkeys swing from branches. Yeah. How do you feel, Poppy? This is for you. How do you feel about not getting <laughs> Christmas presents at our house and doing a vacation instead? Oh, this is good. I like the vacation better because I feel like with Christmas presents, it's like. You use them for like, what, like a month, and then they just there's like no point in them afterwards. I feel like the unless it's closed. I feel like it kind of dies off like a couple hours after Christmas presents are yeah. open. Everyone's kind of over it. But like this is like it's like two weeks of like staying here, and then also we have like all like the pictures and the memories of this trip. So <laughs> what's been your favorite part of the trip so far? Um, We've been eating a lot and like having a lot of different like, types of food. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I would agree. Yeah. We're definitely a Mexican food family. It's something we eat uh, six day. times a week probably. Six times a day. But there's not really good Mexican food that we have found. I don't know. Avery had a good quesadilla, allegedly. Okay, Avery and Poppy, have you found any cute boys on the island? I know. Are there any yeah. cute boys on this island? No. What about the pro surfers? No. No, they're all like 30. They're all like 30 years old. Some of them are really young. They're all like 30. Semi pros, right? There's some semi pros. I like that. They don't really care. What about, what awesome. about, Good. What about the boys that we saw at the, like, the grill place? Yeah, what about those boys at the grill? At the grill? That one with the guy with like. Those, the guys with the semi pro, or with the pro the guy with the tattoos on his face. With these things? Oh, weird things. Just coming. Oh, Goldie wants to show everybody real quick. Maybe we should look at the camera, Goldie. Goldie? Yeah, it wasn't like this. Goldie's really good at mimicking Avery. Go ahead and show him. Wait. <laughs> Do it again. Wait, no, mimic. Do it again. Start over. Start over. I don't pull my eyes in the back of my head. That's so creepy. Okay. You can't put that in the Mimic mom now. Yeah, mimic me. Mimic mom. What, what, what mom is she saying? Normally? <laughs> wait, wait. Normally, or is she in the picture? I'm so sick of doing this. This is you in the car. This is she dancing. This was her the whole way back. She's like, Mom's dancing is like really weird. It's like. Yeah, really it's like, embarrassing. I just it's like, like it's everywhere. <laughs>
do you think? This is so sick. <laughs> Hibernate. <laughs> Gentlemen, a round of applause for the world champion, John John Floyd. <laughs> 